you've made it to the end of this course. Great job. Let's do a recap of what we've learned so far. We've learned that distributed tracing is a process that links the operations and requests occurring between multiple services, granting us full visibility of everything that's happening in our application. That makes it easy for us to identify performance bottlenecks and solve the bugs faster. In the second lesson, we learned that a trace is a chain of transactions. A transaction describes the operations that happen within the entity where it's created. We create a transaction for every part in our system, like our front-end, back-end, database, etc. In order to distribute the trace, each of our transactions pass the trace context, which contain the trace identifier, the span identifier, and an optional sampled value. Then we proceeded to install and configure Sentry into the demo app. We used Sentry's wizard to do that. And in the last episode, we manually created a transaction on the front-end and passed the trace identifier to the back-end, where we continued manually instrumenting the API request handler. Then we ran the app and demonstrated the whole distributed tracing process. And that's it for this course. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to check out all the resources down in the description below. Like, subscribe, and check out our Snacks of the Week short videos on a variety of technical topics. Thanks for watching.